Nana the Saucy Chef. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Saucy in the kitchen, yeah, it's going down. Making mouth water, saucy talk of the town. I know you're hungry, can't fight it, you will lose your breath. Quick meals for your pleasure, here's another chef. Subscribe to the channel, saucy, you be boss. Without further ado, I'm introducing sauce. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Today we're going to be making ground beef and potato casserole. The ingredients that we're going to need today are one pound of ground beef. You're also going to need about five potatoes, one medium onion, one packet of brown gravy. You're also going to need two and a half cups of water, sour cream, also, garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash, ground black pepper, olive oil, chives. You can use fresh chives or the dried ones. And also garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm using adobo light seasoning or you can just use plain salt. Okay guys, I have all my ingredients measured out. I went ahead and chopped my onions small, but you guys can chop them in the rings any way that you would like your onions to be. I also have a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I have one teaspoon of adobo light seasoning. And if you're not using that, you can use one teaspoon of salt. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. I also have one tablespoon of olive oil. And guys, all I did was cut my potatoes, and I did not cut them too thick. So next, we're just going to heat up our pan and saute our onions. Okay guys, I'm using a 10 inch cast iron pan. You want to put your heat on medium low. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and add my tablespoon of olive oil in. We're going to wait for that to heat up and then we're just going to add our onions in and saute them for about a minute. Okay guys, all I did was add my onions in and all we're going to do now is saute them. I'm going to leave them in there for about one minute. Okay, next I'm going to add my ground beef. And I'm going to just go ahead and put my seasonings in. Now is go ahead and break the meat up and make sure everything is well combined. Okay, while our ground beef is cooking, all I'm going to do is pour our gravy packet into two and a half cups of water. And all I'm going to do is whisk it until it's well combined. Okay guys, once you're done browning the ground beef, as you can see, I don't have hardly any grease. I used 85-15 on my ground beef. So all I'm going to do now is go ahead and pour in our gravy. And we're just going to mix that around real good. Then we're going to bring it to a simmer. Okay guys, once it comes to a simmer, all we're going to do is go ahead and turn our heat off. Okay guys, for our potatoes, you want to add in a tablespoon of olive oil. 
going to pour that over top. One teaspoon garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. I have a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a half a teaspoon of the adobo light seasoning, which if you're not using that, you can use a half a teaspoon of salt. And all we're going to do is mix this until it's well combined. Okay guys, you want to make sure that your potato slices are well coated. Okay guys, at this time you want to go ahead and taste your mixture right here with the ground beef. You want to make sure that it's seasoned, remember, to your liking. Next, we're going to just go ahead and take our potato slices and we're just going to layer it on top. Okay guys, once you're done with that, I'm just going to go ahead in with my Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. It's salt free. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some over the top. Now you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and we'll be baking this for 45 minutes. Okay guys, our ground beef and potato casserole is now done. All I'm going to do is go ahead and get some of the chives and I'm just going to sprinkle over top. And guys, once you plate it, you can go ahead and put you some sour cream on top and maybe add a little bit more chives or scallions to it. And it'll be delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, this is Nana, the Saucy Chef.